Glad you could join us on another journey with Unveiled Destinations. Today, we're exploring the charm of Portugal, a country brimming with rich history, stunning landscapes, and a vibrant culture that's hard to resist. Prepare to be captivated as we explore the 10 best places to visit in Portugal. First on our list is the captivating capital city, Lisbon. This city carries a unique charm that's impossible to resist. It's a treasure trove of historical sites, each telling a tale of its rich past. From the Grand Mosteiro dos Jerónimos to the ancient Castelo de São Jorge, the city's history is as vibrant as its present. Now imagine hearing the clatter of iconic yellow trams as they navigate the city's hilly terrain. These trams aren't just a quaint nod to the past. They're a vital part of the city's character and the best way to explore its many wonders. And of course, no mention of Lisbon would be complete without the famed custard tarts, or pastéis de nata. These sweet treats are a delightful part of the city's culinary scene and are worth the trip alone. Lisbon is a city that blends the old with the new, ensuring a memorable experience for every traveler. Next, we journey to the city of Porto, the birthplace of port wine. Nestled along the Douro River, Porto's charm is as intoxicating as its famous drink. The city's heartbeat is the Ribeira District, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, with its narrow cobbled streets and colorfully tiled buildings all leading to the vibrant riverside, a perfect place to sit, relax, and soak in the city's unique ambience. But what's Porto without its port wine? No visit to the city is complete without a tour of the wine cellars that dot the river's southern bank. These cellars are where the magic happens, where the grapes from the Douro Valley are transformed into the rich, sweet dessert wine that the world has come to love. Take a guided tour, learn about the winemaking process, and indulge in a tasting session. With its picturesque landscapes and world-renowned wine, Porto promises a feast for your senses. Our third destination is the fairy tale town of Sintra. Nestled amidst the cooling mountains and the Atlantic Ocean, Sintra is a romantic haven that whispers tales of yesteryears. The town is dotted with romantic palaces rising from the lush green gardens like a scene straight from a storybook. Pina Palace, with its vibrant hues and ornate details, is a masterpiece of 19th century romanticism. The Quinta da Regalera, with its intricate Gothic facades and mysterious underground tunnels, offers a journey into an enchanting world of mysticism. But Sintra isn't just about palaces. The town's lush gardens, such as the exotic Montserrati Park, are a paradise for nature lovers. And let's not forget the ancient Moorish castle, perched high on a hilltop, offering breathtaking views of the town below. Every corner of Sintra is steeped in history, romance, and unparalleled beauty. Sintra, with its enchanting beauty, is a place straight out of a dream. Let's escape to the coastal paradise of Algarve. Imagine a place where golden sand beaches stretch out as far as the eye can see, kissed by the sparkling blue Atlantic. This is Algarve, a gem on Portugal's southernmost tip. The region teems with picturesque fishing towns, each one steeped in traditions that date back centuries. Here the scent of grilled sardines wafts through the narrow cobbled streets, and the rhythm of fado music fills the air at dusk. But it's not just about the beaches and towns, Algarve's dramatic cliffs are a sight to behold where the land meets the sea in a stunning display of nature's artistry. These rugged landscapes dotted with secluded coves and caves are a testament to the region's raw, untouched beauty. As the sun sets, painting the sky in hues of orange and pink, you'll find yourself falling in love with this coastal paradise. For sun, sand, and sea, Algarve is your perfect getaway. Our next stop is Evora, the historical heartland of Portugal. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is a time capsule, offering a glimpse into Portugal's rich and varied past. The city's Roman temple, with its Corinthian columns standing tall, is a testament to the ancient Roman influence. A few steps away, the Chapel of Bones, with its walls lined with human skulls and bones, serves as a stark reminder of the transient nature of life. This chapel, part of the larger Royal Church of St. Francis, is a unique site that gives Evora a slightly mystical charm. Venture further into the city, and you'll encounter the well-preserved medieval walls. These fortified walls, once a protective barrier, now stand as a symbol of resilience and endurance. 
Wandering through the narrow cobblestone streets of Evora, you're walking through centuries of history, culture, and tradition. Evora is a living testament to Portugal's rich past. We now venture into the verdant vineyards of the Douro Valley. This enchanting region, sprawling across northern Portugal, is a testament to centuries of wine cultivation. Nestled within this fertile terrain are terraced vineyards, their geometric precision etched into the landscape as if by an artist's hand. Imagine strolling through these vineyards, basking in the Mediterranean sun, the scent of ripening grapes wafting through the air. The Douro Valley isn't just about the wine, it's about the experience, the thrill of a wine tasting tour, the excitement of discovering your new favorite vintage, the joy of sharing a bottle with good company. These are moments that linger long after the wine has been savored. Then there's the Douro River, a scenic waterway that weaves through the valley, its tranquil waters reflecting the beauty of the vineyards. A river cruise is an ideal way to appreciate the Douro Valley's awe-inspiring panorama. Douro Valley is a wine lover's paradise. Next, we explore Aveiro, often called the Venice of Portugal. This charming city is a sight to behold with its vibrant gondola-like boats, also known as moliseiros, adorning the serene canals. Aveiro's canals are a testament to its history as a prosperous seaport, and today they add a whimsical charm to the city's landscape. As you stroll through the city, you'll find yourself entranced by the Art Nouveau architecture. This distinctive style with its intricate detailing and elegant curves is a visual delight, adding an artistic flair to the city's streets. But it's not just about the architecture here. Aveiro's canals and Molisairo's offer a unique way to explore the city. Whether you're gliding through the waterways or watching from the banks, the boats with their vivid colors and intricate designs are a spectacle in themselves. Aveiro's unique charm is sure to leave you spellbound. The city's rich history, picturesque canals, and captivating architecture make it a must-visit destination on any Portugal itinerary. Our ninth destination is Coimbra, the university city, a city that thrives on knowledge and the pursuit of understanding. It houses the University of Coimbra, one of the oldest in the world. Established in the 13th century, it stands as a testament to the city's rich academic tradition and history. Like a pulsating heart, the university injects a vibrant student life into the city's veins. The air buzzes with the energy and enthusiasm of young minds ready to shape the future. But Coimbra isn't only about academia. The city is also the birthplace of fado music, a genre filled with melancholic tunes and soulful lyrics that echo through the narrow winding streets. The music, much like the city itself, is a haunting blend of the old and the new, the joyous and the sorrowful. It's in this beautiful contrast that the magic of Coimbra lies. Coimbra is a city where tradition and youthful energy meet. We now set sail to Madeira, the Garden Island, a place where nature thrives in its most vibrant form. Madeira is a patchwork of lush landscapes that will leave you breathless. This island is a botanical wonder, a living, breathing garden that flourishes year-round thanks to its blessed climate. Imagine walking through a kaleidoscope of colors as the island is adorned with a wide variety of flowers and plants that paint the terrain in vibrant hues. But the beauty of Madeira is not just skin deep, its roots run deep with a rich history of winemaking. The world-renowned Madeira wine is a testament to the island's fertile soil and the craftsmanship of its people. Each spring, the island comes alive with the Vibrant Flower Festival, a celebration that encapsulates the spirit of Madeira. Dancers clad in colorful costumes fill the streets, parading amongst floats that are overflowing with flowers. Madeira is a botanical wonder that is sure to enchant you. Finally, we journey to the volcanic archipelago of Azores. Nestled in the heart of the Atlantic Ocean, this group of nine islands is a testament to Mother Nature's raw power and spectacular artistry. Each island is a masterpiece, sculpted by volcanic eruptions, resulting in stunning landscapes that will leave you awestruck. But the Azores isn't just about the landscapes. It's one of the world's top destinations for whale watching. The deep Atlantic waters surrounding the islands are a playground for over 20 species of cetaceans. Imagine the thrill of spotting a majestic blue whale or a playful pod of dolphins in their natural habitat. And let's not forget about the unique Azorean cuisine.
Savor the taste of Cozido das Furnas, a stew slow cooked in the heat of volcanic earth. Or enjoy a cup of locally grown tea, the only such plantation in Europe. With its wild beauty, Azores is a destination like no other. That concludes our journey through the 10 best places to visit in Portugal. We've explored from Lisbon's captivating streets to Azores' volcanic archipelago. Don't forget to subscribe to Unveiled Destinations for more exciting travel insights. Thank you for exploring with Unveiled Destinations. Until our next journey, safe travels.